objective of the consolidation is to build world-class banks. It is not intended to diminish anybody. It's also, I think, a reasonably democratic process. Smaller banks have the choice not to be part of any merger, but choose to become specialized institutions. So I don't think uh, that the way it's to be viewed negatively. And, uh, and the real objective is to build large, sizable institution, you know, that have diversified portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. So on the balance, I think it should, it should be treated positively than negatively. Okay. Mr. Jaikumar, morning. Uh, you know, the other disappointment perhaps is that from the Gyan Sangam, there were no major takeaways as far as the uh, solution to stressed assets is concerned, uh, the asset reconstruction companies, etc. Um, that's what we understand. But what have you taken away from the Gyan, Sam Gyan Sangam? Has there been any um, talk or solution on what should be done with stressed assets? I think the coverage in the media with respect to Gyan Sangam has been fairly comprehensive. Now, specific to the issue of stress asset, I think the message has been that banks will be very focused on recovery, and there has been a discussion around to strengthening a number of uh, legal processes around DRT, uh, around the new expected bankruptcy code, etc. Uh, so, specifics apart, you know, uh, the overall overall direction is that banks will be very focused on on recovery. Uh, and there is going to be a bunch of support available from the government, particularly in the in the legislative, in the in the in really the administration of the legal process. Uh, so that's where it is. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, uh, Mr. Ekman, there was a there is a niggling worry over the weekend. The CBI put out some statements saying that uh, they have made additional searches with respect to that. Uh, foreign remittance, uh, fraudulent foreign remittance transactions which they were investigating and that fraud, if you remember, originated from some of the Bank of Baroda branches in Delhi. Uh, were you contacted? Is there any update you can give us on the impact of this investigation on the bank? I, let me put it to this way. As far as I know, there has been no raid on the bank or any connection with our employees. I'll recheck that, but not to my knowledge. So if there is something the CBI is saying they found, then I think the source is the CBI and we have to check with them. We're also reaching across and trying to ascertain and we shall soon come with a clarification on this matter. But to my knowledge, this is a part of the continuing investigation, some information being available, and these may or may not relate to Bank of Baroda itself. No, they haven't said it relates to you. They have only said that they have investigated some private parties without mentioning uh, any names at all. So uh, hence the need to check it with is, you. It is too broad-based to comment on. You okay. know, there is some investigation. Some people have been found with something. Okay. You know, how, uh, it, how does it connect to Bank of Baroda? Where does it, uh, how does it involve? We don't know. Okay. There's nothing specific to comment upon. But nonetheless, we'll go through the details and come back to you with some comments as, okay. we, as we go through the day. How quickly will ESOPs be given? That was one of the things that the Gyan Sangam spoke about. I think, uh, I don't know, I can't tell you the exact time frame because that's a policy decision, but on the balance, it seems to me that they are quite keen and getting this through and addressing the gap in long-term compensation plan for senior executives in the banking system and the public sector banking system. All right, Mr. Jekamar, we'll uh, leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, I uh, just wanted to